Hey everybody, it's Claudia. So if you guys watched my room tour, um, you know that I asked you if you guys wanted to see a jewelry box tour as well and, and how I store my jewelry. And so a ton of you guys were like, yeah, we want to see it. And I'm like, cool, I want to show you. So um, as you guys can tell from the title below, this is my jewelry box collection. Um, just a little disclaimer, this isn't to like brag about what I have or to be like, oh look at how much, whatever. It's not that at all. It's just to show you guys how I store my jewelry. I know a ton of you guys got some room inspiration from my room tour video. And so I'm hoping you can get some inspiration to how to store your jewelry. And um, cause sometimes it can be a little tricky, so I have a few tips and tricks that I want to show you guys and um, just all that fun jazz surrounding how I store my jewelry. So um... If you guys want to watch my jewelry collection and see kind of how I store it, then definitely keep watching. Okay guys, so here is my jewelry box. It is a box from Ikea that my mom bought, put together, and then all of these different things are like scrapbooking paper that she modge podged on um, to the different compartments and she made it look really pretty and I really really like the way it looks and on top I just have my little Tiffany box sitting up there because no girl forgets her first Tiffany box so I'm just gonna run through the drawers really quickly so in this first drawer you guys I just have earrings they're all earrings that I've bought from different places and I like to keep them on their little cards I guess that they come in it makes it easier to like remember where the earrings are from and I also just have a little small small hole punch that I can add to them and add different rows and I kind of keep similar earrings together and try and save space like that plus I hate trying to find earrings when they're all just like scattered around so I like to be able to see them and keep them organized like that and I think it's really really convenient and handy and just a great way to store earrings because I also know if I have lost a pair because they're not where they're supposed to be. So that's sad, but it is what it is. <laughs> and then in this second drawer, I just have bracelets that like I don't wear as often. Um, I have like my electrolyte bracelet that you're supposed to wear when you work out or whatever. I have just bracelets that are a little bit older that I don't find that I'm reaching towards as much just because my style's changed or whatever or I, you know, made it. Um, so that's in that drawer. Ooh, get back in there. And then in this last drawer here, I have all my rings. So I have all of my like midi rings here. I've got some, like, really cute ones. I know that sounds weird, but, like, I have a little cat. Like, I have a little cat, and she has a little face, and Forever 21 is so cute like that. So, I have all of my mini rings in here. I have my more, kind of, worn rings all the time, just so I can reach them and have them at easy access. And then back in here, if it'll focus, thank you, camera, I have, like, stackable rings. It doesn't like the ring drawer, apparently. I have stackable rings in this box. Again, my like most worn rings kind of goes towards the back there. And then I have some bigger rings that I don't always reach towards. And I didn't want them taking up as much space. And I can still see them in the back because they're bigger. So they live back there. And then this might be my favorite drawer of all, guys. This is my like most used bracelet drawer. It has all the bracelets that I would layer, that I wear all the time, that I want to be able to see. I originally had them in this drawer and I couldn't ever see them, and so now I've laid them out all nice and pretty. And it feels kind of like a boutique to me, which is really fun, and it just feels luxurious. So over here, as you guys can see, I have my two watches. I have my Michael Kors rose gold watch, and then I have my Movado white and silver watch. And then, as you can see, all my bracelets kind of just are here. I've got like pink, uh, rose gold, like kind of neutral whites. My Pandora bracelets are back here. Um, I also have my charm bracelet from Fossil that my friends gave me for my birthday. I have black. Um, and here are all of my like thinner, smaller, um, just like one chain bracelets that just have little charms on them. Um, I've got a coach bracelet that kind of keeps them all together. I have another coach charm bracelet. I have an anthropology bracelet. I have a um, BCBG fearless bracelet. I have a Betsy Johnson bracelet. I have some Kate Spade bracelets underneath there and then I have my Swarovski bracelet for my boyfriend. Infinity bracelets here from my boyfriend as well and then my Tiffany um, heart key bracelet for my dad. And then I have all of my like fancier costume jewelry that sits there. I have another Pandora bracelet. I have like just a little thin bracelet that doesn't really fit anywhere. And then I have my more like colorful blue purple bracelets. And that's that. It's pretty 
pretty simple. I kind of love it. Like my favorite drawer, like I said, I just love that it's color coordinated and I think it looks really pretty. And then this last drawer is kind of random. Um, I have all of my like pendants that don't, why are you, fo why are you going out of focus camera? Why are you doing this to me? That's not cool. There we go. Um, I have my all my like pendants that don't have a necklace with them. So like these are all kind of pendants here. And then I've got my like thinner, priceless jewelry here that was like for my first communion, for my confirmation, first communion. So like jewelry that I don't wear all the time but I really like. And I don't want to kind of put away or anything. And here I just have all my like big necklaces that um, don't have a spot on my little necklace stand which I'll show you in a minute but these are just necklaces A that I don't wear very much and B that just needed a home and they stay in here so I've got some like owl necklaces and a fish and all that fun stuff and then in here I have extra earring backings and then in here I have necklaces that are just don't have anything on them and then this is all my holiday costume jewelry from my mom I took it from her like 80s stuff so there's like snowman earrings in there which is really random and then in this one there's just some more miscellaneous jewelry but that is everything in my little jewelry box. Now let us move on to... So as you guys saw in my room tour, this is how I store some of my jewelry. It just sits on my night desk, my night desk, my night stand. Um, I've just cleared it off to make it a little easier for you guys to see. But basically, this is a little Eiffel Tower earring rack from Forever 21. And I love it. It's super, super cute. It just hangs all my big earrings that are like hanging. I'm not a huge big earring person. I just have some earrings and whatever. I have a few feather earrings. I got like a pack once. I don't know. So that just holds all of my big earrings. And then this lovely headless lady over here houses all of my like long necklaces that I wear all the time. So I have my House of Harlow necklace. I have some like other thin, these are like short neck necklaces. These are like mid-length necklaces in gold I believe and then these ones are like my silver ones it used to be a little more organized but like my Kif my Tiffany key is on here and then as you guys saw in my haul video I have this like really pretty floral necklace that I love that is now hanging there and then I have some more like necklaces over here that I don't wear as often but I still want to have them on display and have them at easy access and as you can see this is sitting on books because it wasn't long enough to have a lot of my um a lot of my necklaces so I had to uh, prop it up a little bit but that is basically my quick jewelry tour that is where all my jewelry lives and I'm pretty happy with my setup now I used to not love it as much and now it's pretty much to my liking so that's so that. that was how I store my jewelry it's pretty simple pretty easy um, I'm really happy with the way it is as I said in the video it's really um, organized to how I like it and I can see most of the pieces of jewelry that I have which is obviously how you want to store your jewelry and you want to be able to see everything that you have because what's the point of having jewelry if you don't wear it so that is how I store my jewelry if you guys like this video give me a thumbs up and if you want to see any other tours I know that you guys want to see a closet tour so that is coming but if you want any other tours or any other tips and tricks on anything definitely leave me a comment down below if you like my videos in general I would love if you subscribe you will be the first to know when I put up a new video if you do press the subscribe button and as always all my social media links are in the down bar below so I hope you guys are having a great weekend day night whenever you're watching this and I'll see you on Monday or Tuesday because this video is a little late I uh, probably on Tuesday with a new music video music song for you guys because I do like to keep my videos kind of spaced out and with work it's been a little tricky to kind of stay on schedule but I'm trying to really get back on schedule and I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video bye